Why should I worry about the temperature outside when it's the temperature to let me know I got to get it to him? Because he's the only one that can keep it warm. My God. My God. Sure, why am I Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Did you know some doctors report can change this? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did you know your financial situation can turn around with your hallelujah? Did you know your marriage can be healed through your hallelujah? But see, my hallelujah gets his attention when I'm holding my hallelujah. Shake it by your kindly. See, 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 Ebony. Jesus. The yes. enemy attacked the stuff yes. I'm praying for. Come on. Because he know I'll get discouraged and stop praying. Yeah. Come on, God. The yes. yes. the enemy attack my stuff to the point yes. I don't have a thank you, Jesus. Because why should I be giving thanks and all hell is breaking me? Why should I give Thanks. Yes, God. When the thing I thank you for is now falling yes, apart. Hallelujah. Nicole, why should I be giving them thanks? Because I got more bills than I got money. Why should I be giving them thanks? Because everything is coming right in the middle. Sure, I don't need faith. Come 
next to my hallelujah. Once I show hallelujah, my discouragement becomes encouragement. If I show hallelujah, Catrice, whatever condition that I'm in, whatever my circumstance is, he's going to come down and encourage me to tell me that everything's going to be all right. Come on. As long 
as it's working in our favor, we got to praise. On, as long as you're feeding me ice cream with whipped cream yes. on top, Come I got to praise. As long as you're giving me what I want, doing yes. what I want for you, what I want done for me, I got to praise. But the moment it looks like it's getting dark, yes. the moment it looks Come like on, it's God. getting late, the moment it looks like it's almost over, yes. the moment it looks like he's leaving, the oh, moment God. it looks like shame will show up, that's when everything yes. So if that be you, then your praise wasn't for real. <laughs> then your request wasn't for real. See, the only way we'll see the evidence of what we believe in God for, we gotta believe before we ask. Come on, God. Jesus. Jesus. Seven days this week. Yes, God. I got seven days to think about what I need. In the seven days, Laquan, of thinking of what I need, I got attached faith to what I need yes. in order to see what Come I need. On, God. Yes. I know my bills are due. I know my marriage is acting crazy. I know my children acting like yes. children with their cousin here cuts off, cut off. I know, I know all of this. I know my co-worker is tripping. I know my, my manager, my supervisor, and flip the cuckoo, cuckoo, Come on. Pigeon cuckoo. Yeah. Come on, God. Jesus. I have a choice. Yes, Jesus. To buy a wedding? Yeah. Or get enough faith to believe he is true. Yes. But we want pastor to do it. No. But not this shit, baby. You got seven days before Sunday come day the round. You got enough time to be with God. Get it for yourself. Come on, God. You got enough time to take what's yes. been preached all last year. Meditate on it for seven days. Yes. And by Sunday, but come on. Come on. Come on. Lord Father. Come but on. we leave here so disappointed and frustrated on, because we didn't get our hands laid on. on we didn't get a prophecy. But if I hadn't taken what yes. you was teaching me and studied it, I would have had enough faith. Yes, God. Come on. Welcome to Thirsty Thirsty. Nobody clapped. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Y'all have a seat. It's a shame. Shakira, you got to get to a place and say, Devil, you rode me long enough. Yes, God. Yes, God. See, I rode you to school with me. I took you home with me. I let you sit at my kitchen table, eat with me. I let you hang out with me. But guess what? I realize you're not my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now that I realize you're not my friend, I got to remember what you took from me. I'm trying to teach this enemy, but I believe that's the way you want me to go. So... As I remember what he took from me, I got to know how to get it back. But I know my attitude he gave me. I know my unforgiveness is him. I know my bitterness is him. So in order to get back to where I was and what I had, I got to get rid of what he dropped off on me. If he's coming to my house, when he came, he came with a sack. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Jesus. When he came to my house and he came with some luggage. Come on. When he came to my house, he had a fruit basket. Yeah. He had depression. So just because I didn't open my door, just because I didn't let him in, later on I started entertaining while he was there. So just opening up my ear gate to fit out, open up my mind to fit out, open up my spirit to fit out why did he come in the beginning? Yeah. I opened myself up to what he wanted to drop off. Yeah. Yeah. I know you 
you want to walk, Jesus. I tell you, the children is already always a son because their enemy can't handle the atmosphere. So, so, so tonight I want to deal with the enemy. I want to deal with the enemy because if we don't deal with the enemy, the enemy is going to continue to deal with us and we're going to continue to be at the end of the line of set at the beginning. We're going to continue to be the cheese line of set of giving out truth. We're going to continue to be the borrower and not the lender. So you might as well pull out your journals. I'm going to drop some scriptures because a lot of times we hear the word, but if no scripture back there up, we don't believe it. And I was told in ministerial training, when I was a minister in training, that if they don't have a, script, a, a scripture, beware. Jesus. So let me start off dropping some nuggets. Come on. And then I'm going to deal with the enemy. First Timothy, chapter 4, verse 1. This is what keeps the enemy out of your house when you take your word home and meditate on it. Come on. First Timothy... What would the Lord just let me teach? Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> First Timothy. What's going on? Yes, God. Come on. <laughs> First Timothy chapter. If y'all like you have. Thank you. Okay. First Timothy, see. It's always the appearance to tell if you get that or not. Come on, God. You can say Jesus. you get it, but if you still look like the Come on. Oh, Jesus. Timothy chapter <laughs> four, verse one. I'll read in your hearing. The spirit clearly says that in later times, somebody say right now. Right now. Some will abandon the faith. Come on, God. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. The Spirit clearly says that in later, somebody say, right now. Right now. Time, some will abandon the faith. Somebody say the truth. The, the truth. truth. <laughs> and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Come on, God. Jesus. And the reason why they will entertain that, Nicole, due to an enemy that come was on. never healed. Yeah, come on. I'll read 2 Corinthians. You're teaching Pastor Paul, come on. Chapter 2, verse 11. 2 Corinthians, chapter 2. Verse 11, the children should even be writing because instead of being in an Xbox and, and Pokemon and, and, and SpongeBob, I should really have the word of God because there are some classmates that are rubbing me the wrong way. There are some things going on in school I ain't told my mother about. But if I study to make my to show myself approved, then those boogers will leave me alone. And then I won't be in peer pressure. And I won't be perplexed with what they got on and what they doing. And the reason why a lot of us mess up in school is because we're trying to keep up. Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, I'll read. In order that Satan might not outwit us. For we are not unaware of his schemes. The only way to double win and we're not sensitive to his tactics. Come on. Come on. Somebody say enemy. Come on. enemy. And the reason why Satan has been winning because we have been in denial about an enemy. We said I got want to stop smoking weed, but we don't get to the reason why I haven't started in the beginning. Come on. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse four. And we say he don't like me, she don't like me. But have you ever considered you really don't like yourself? Come on, God. Somebody shout enemy. Enemy. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Jesus. The God of this age is an idol, iPhone. Um, hand games, board games, 
um, the club, the, the hottest music, the Jordan sneakers, that God. The fancy car, the biggest church, that God. The homeboys, the homegirls, Come that God. Because what we like the most, we have made an idol and start worshiping. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. He have our mind on everything else except for the gospel. So when we come in this place, we leave out worse than we came in because our eyes was on what we left at home. Our eyes was on what we did in the course of a week. Our eyes were what they had and what they did. But our eyes was never towards Christ. Jesus. Because we was thinking about how good he made me feel, how big her butt was, how sexy her voice is. That was the God that's blind in the mind. Of the unbeliever. I don't care how many days you're in the sanctuary. I don't care how many how much you come to church. You can be in church and still be an unbeliever. Come on. How can I tell you? How do you know that, Pastor Carl? Thanks for asking. You're sitting in here and never believe nothing come that came on. out of my mouth. Where cool are coming, testimonies are being told you still sitting there looking like a bump on a long ride. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you. <Jesus. laughs> Matthew <laughs> chapter 8 verse 31 Matthew chapter 8 verse 31 when I was sitting in a service and something comes out the past the mouth and it bothers you, offend you then that's an enemy come on God Jesus and some of us need to know it's a, the enemy is a demon Jesus so if they don't want to come to your church, come on, say so. Yeah, and they don't like your church. Come on. And the reason why is because they got a demon that they're afraid of getting exposed. So their assignment now is to make something look wrong with your church. Their assignment now is to make something wrong about your pastor because if they're here and they get exposed. You know, I don't like all of them tongues. Baby, you don't like nothing but a drink and a stick of weed. Come on. Say so. Jesus. You know, I don't like when she starts screaming in that mind. I don't like when they start. Come on, Jesus. Know why you don't like all of that? Because I scream in Timothy your demon. I scream so you can get the living. I start speaking in tongues because that enemy, that demon, inside of you. Come on, Jesus. Pinno, 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 pinno,
Tell the truth, Lord. Thank you. I love it. So when your family members come. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and your girlfriends come, come, come and your sons and daughters come. come. See, a divided house can't stand. So what they do is find for in your house to divide your house at all. Because if they start talking about this house, they sure ain't gonna like you at the house. Because what you're doing in this house is exposing them at your house. Thank you. That's good. Out. And when they
Because the moment they think you're sleeping, the moment they think you're embracing the spirit and you don't know what it is, it transfer. Because the enemy know that you're ignorant right now and you're falling for the sweet words. You're falling for the dots of the roses. You're selling now for the perfect. What he did is use what he know when will open you up to deposit. Come on, God. So how do he come? He come with wine. Come on. How do he come? come he come with perfume. How come do he come? He come with an outfit. How do he come? He come with some boots. Oh. How do he come and give me a pair of sneakers? Because he already know what I like because I've been living with him for a long time. Yes. He already know how I like it, the way I like it. Yes. He know when you twist this way, when you twist that way, what turns me on. He know what the to touch. Oh God. My God. Because he done touched it before. Come on, God. Jesus. Jesus. So why should I get excited about what he was doing when I told him all my secrets? My God. I told him I like it. I told him what it would make me. And you're getting excited by emotional feeling, but ain't never bear witness with your spirit. Come on, God. And when it don't bear witness with your spirit, is an enemy trying to mislead you in the wilderness again. Jesus. Matthew. Jesus. Chapter 12. Yeah. Leanna, that's why we got to watch the company we keep. Because yeah. we can be innocent in a company yeah. can be wicked. Yeah. So the wickedness of the company that yeah. I keep, I bring home to the innocent yeah. bystanders. Yes, Jesus. Oh my God. And the enemy only trying to get to my house to devour, to destroy my house, divide my house because if my house is standing on solid yes, foundation, God. we all going up. Yeah. Yeah. And his assignment is to still kill and destroy. Guess what, Belinda Jesus. and Jeanette, Matthew twelve forty five. Jesus, <laughs> number six. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. My God. Matthew Jesus. chapter 12, <laughs> verse 45. Then it goes and take with yeah. it seven other spirits Come more on. wicked. Hey, Nicole, when Come I begin on. to meditate on that on today, if it takes seven more spirits more Jesus. wicked, then it takes seven more more deceitful. Yeah. Come on. More manipulative. If it take seven other spirits more wicked than itself, then it's stronger than my fornication, yeah. it's stronger than my addiction, it's stronger than my mind, it's stronger, <laughs> stronger than my lust, it's stronger than my perversion. And that's why you can't get delivered because oh, Jesus, say something. It's stronger than the one you still got in you. Come on, God. Jesus. Somebody shout, enemy. 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 Then it goes and takes with the seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go and live there. So you mean to tell me they end me? Jesus. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. Yeah. So the enemy knows if you listen to him, if you listen to her, your situation only going to be worse than it was before you came to the door. Come on, God. Jesus. Jesus. So the reason why he's bothering you right now, because he liked you better when you was drinking with him. My he liked you better when you was partying with him. He liked you better when you was wearing the short skirt and the baby jeans. He have a problem now that you're in a choir. He Come on. Jesus. 
So he bring us, she bring us home what we like to keep us sedated. And as long as we sedated, I don't know what you're doing when you're not in front of me. Come on, God. My God. Come on. Jesus. If you always bring me strawberry chocolate. Jesus. Chocolate shrubbers. Come if you always bringing me gum, if you always bringing me candy, you're bringing me everything I like, only to rock my inner man yeah. to sleep. Because if my inner man wake up, then it's going to overtake my inner man. But we feed the inner man, so we'll never wake up the inner man to reveal who you really are. Come on, God. See, I love God because, God. and I love the healing center because he give me the information to live, to survive. I don't need a nursery rhyme. I don't need a fairy tale. I need something to save my life. I need something that's going to teach me how to live when I feel like giving up. Jesus, thank you. Yes. Tell me about an enemy that I never knew existed. See, all of our behavior stem from an enemy. See, it's wounded, it's scarred, it's hurting, it's broken. So we live from a place of an enemy never being healed. Jesus. Jesus. Luke chapter 8. Come on, Holy Ghost. Luke chapter 8. Verse 30, I'll read. Jesus asked him, What is your name? Yes, God. What is your name? And the problem is, when they start operating in another spirit, the way you check them, you say, Who are you today? What's your name? Because when I first met you, you was this person. Now I don't even know who I'm sleeping with. I wish your name. Because you might not be able. <laughs> And see, the problem is, we sit down there and play Uno in space with them already know they don't know. Jesus. We play checkers and backhand. Come on, we're going to Kobe's. Come on. We're going to Friday's. Come on. We're going to all you can eat. Because the enemy know how to get to your belly, to your heart. That's well. He gets to my heart, through my belly. He feed me for what I like. My God. He seduced me with what I like. He introduced me to what I like. Why is it that he have a problem when I stop liking what he introduced me to? Oh my God, I like it, Holy Ghost. Why? Because if it was good for me, he wouldn't be upset. But because it's poison to me, he's getting angry. Because if I stop drinking the poison, I'm going to live. If I stop eating the poison, So he's happy as long as I don't go to the healing center. I can go to any other church he finds. But if I go to the healing center, he got a problem. Why do I have a problem with the other church but this one? Because the other church is giving me what I like. Come on. Come on. Come on. How did the enemy get to my heart? Through my belly. So it was feeding me. It was controlling my sin. It was making me think it was okay to drink. It was making me think okay to smoke me. It was okay. It was okay. Relationship. Come on, God. It was okay if I didn't pay tithes, but I didn't tell a secret. Because guess what the Lord told me, Nicole, the other day in prayer? He said there's a lot of blackmail in the church. Yes, God. Come on. Because I begin to ask God, how are people comfortable in this? sin? One young guy, he just go to every conference, every convention, every revival, and, and I'm like, but he's still like that. I said, what's going on? He said, there's so much blackmail in the church that they got something on their head, so it's okay for them to do what they're doing. 
because if they get corrected, then they're going to stone their head. My God, that's good. And guess what? How are they holding some of our people hostage? Why is some of our family members there? Why are all our friends there? Because they got what they like. Come on! Mm -hmm. Then that got to be the biggest one of the spirits in the Come church. On. Come on. Then that got to be one of the spirits that's accepted. Because yeah. if you're not changing, why are you acting like there? Come on, God. Yeah. If you're not you getting better, work. why are you over there? Yeah. See, you only over there because you think they can't see it, but you worry about them saying it, but you ain't worried about God already saying it. That's right. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We got to get away because the pastor ain't saying nothing about it. It's okay. No, the pastor ain't saying nothing about it because the pastor going with you trying to rock. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's why I can't get past my nose long. But I'm trying to learn how to just leave it alone this year. I don't know how good I'm going to do. But I know God. <laughs> Come on. They like it, I love it. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> Luke 8 30. I'm not sure if I read it. Jesus asked him, What is your name, Legion? He replied, Because many demons has gone into Jesus. The enemy will get so infected that he'll start, start talking slick to you out his mouth. My God. <laughs> the enemy will get so bad. Jesus. Curse so much weight from bondage that he'll think he's bad. Yeah. Come on. Jesus. And he'll talk slick to you. See, the enemy will expose you and uncover you. You know why? Because he's been with you long enough not to know what makes you tick and what yeah. makes you laugh, what makes you happy. So what that do is go up and throw up your past. Come on. My God. My God. That's the only way to give it. See me do my belly, get to my heart. Jesus. You ain't anointed. Come on, God. If you was, why you talk to me like this? Right. How can you be a minister in training? Come on, God. You don't even like me. How, 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 how can you get all those prophecies come on. and you come home and just as nasty as you want to be? How? Yes. So what it does is planting a seed and wedding. We should be spiritual enough to close our spirits in the blood of Jesus. Yes. I've been raised up in yes. 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 that you're trying to speak yes. it to me yes. back to you. I said, so are you, but what am I? I said, so are you, but what am I? I hear you telling me about you, but tell me about me. Come on, oh, God. That's good. Ouch. That's good. Jesus. The way you don't become what they're speaking in your life Come is you're going to sit and sit back. Come on, we got to learn how to push the hell on your back. Come you on. might be my mother, you might be my father. Come you on. might be my husband, Come you might on. be my wife. Yeah. But a lie is a lie and the truth is still the truth. And guess what, baby? Yeah. The blood of Jesus be a bullshit. You keep telling me, should we do this, should we do that? Come and I'm on. telling you, go seek God. And you will tell me, I'll tell you what you need to do. Then don't come and leave with your phone with me. Come on, baby, Jesus. Comfortable for them and not uncomfortable. Can I give you a prayer? 
had heard that when they want to go sit, they say, I ain't going to do it. Make it so uncomfortable at home that when they want to go, they say, I ain't going to do it. Because guess what? You can make it so uncomfortable and hot home that it will commit them wherever they go. Yes. But you kind of all, baby. You kind of all, baby. Make it uncomfortable and stop making it convenient. Come on, God. That's good. That's right. That's right. How? Do I make it convenient? I'm talking about the enemy. Mm -hmm. Come on. How do I make it comfortable? Because I never find fault. Come on. Or never let him or her know I got a problem with their continuity. Come on, God. Come on. Jesus. I act like it's okay. It's Jesus. Okay. Well, I did it before. I'm allowing you your process. But baby, it's been 15 years now. Come you still allow me my process. It's been over 12 years now. You still allow me my process. You ain't allow me my process. You just trying to keep the peace. Jesus. So you can sleep at night. But baby, can I tell you, you ain't slept in a couple of nights? Jesus. Come on, God. Ephesians. Chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 12. I'll read. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full arm of God. Even when you're making love, don't take it off. Jesus. Oh, my, my God. Even when you go out on a date, don't take it off. On, Even when you're at the amusement park, don't take Come it off. On, Even when you got rollers in your head, don't take it off. Even when you're on the phone enjoying that conversation, don't take it off. Because whatever you don't have on the arm, that's what he worked the most. Jesus. My God. In the shower, don't take it off. Bubble bath, don't take it off. We must keep on our armor at all times because we never know when he's going to shoot another missile. Yeah. And when he shoot them is when I'm least expected. We could be having a Valentine's conversation. He's shooting them. Because it's going to be something he don't like. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 12. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the enemy, the yeah. devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Stop fighting him and stop fighting the spirit that's controlling and operating in him. Stop fighting her and stop fighting the spirit that's dealing with her. See, what we do is fight them and make them rebel more. When we start fighting against the spirit, but well, we got a simple God to find out the name. Because when I go to dealing with it, I need it first name and last name if he going to give it to me. So when I go to prayer, I can be specific. I ain't saying him, him can be everybody over there. I'm going to say David J. Brown. <laughs> He said, and Luke, what is your name? Sometimes you got to ask him, what spirit you operating in? Jesus, my God. Sometimes you got to say, who are you today? I, you was yeah. asking yesterday, but I don't know who the devil you is today. Yeah. Since y'all want to be real, I'll come, come on, God. Jesus. When you have enough faith and confidence in who you are, you can say, bugger. Who? Who are you today? Come on. Are you? I know Nicole. Come on. I know Crystal. Come on. I know Abby, but where did you come from? Yeah. <laughs> and they can come slick side eye, come on. leg, bull leg, but the blood of Jesus, because you weren't walking like that when you left. So I know as a spirit that when you left, you were straight. When you came back, you was quicker. When you left, you had white eyes. Now you come back, you got red eyes. When you left, I can smell peppermint. Now I smell alcohol. Who are you? Come on, God. You talk. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. Because whoever you are, I choose not to lie down with. Whoever you are, I choose not to tell my secrets to. And until you become who God initially said you are, I don't see nothing. Jesus. Jesus. 
wrong with me standing up and telling you the truth? See, the wife submit to the husband that's so... Hold on, I'll let go. Come on, come on. He giving it to me so fast. The wife submits to a husband that's submitted to God. Yeah. Yeah. And if that husband ain't submitted to God, the wife is supposed to stay submitted to God. Come on, God. And being a wife submitted to God, I'm not going to compromise with your foolishness. I'm not going to tolerate your waywardness. I'm submitted to God. Yes. And I'm waiting on him to tell me yes. how to deal with your rebellion, God. Yes. And yes. then I'm going to pray for him to build me so I can yes. have it. Yes. Come on, God. Oh, Gee, my God. Mm. <laughs> Ouch. That's me. good. That's me. good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, thank you, daughter, but against the rules, against authorities. See, I ain't got time to go through all the hell I went through and let somebody dance around me with the hell I've been delivered from. I ain't got time. I'm going to remember all of my crying. I'm going to remember all of my suffering. I'm going to remember all the stuff I had to leave. And you mean I'm going to settle in it? Come on. After I've been there how many times? With you forgave you and you came back and did it to me. The Bible says forgive him seven times seven. He didn't tell me to go back and sleep with him. He didn't tell me to go back and eat with him. He didn't tell me to go back and this my back. He told me just forget them, but not condone them. Somebody says it's a new year. It's a new year. And I'm becoming a new man. Yes, hey, 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 hey. I just heard your Holy Ghost. I might not know who you are, but I know who I am. Afraid to say what's on my mind. Afraid you ain't gonna feed me. Afraid you ain't gonna pay the bill. Afraid you ain't gonna pay the car. No, no, I'm gonna stand up to you, devil. Just say no weapon formed against me. See, as long as he think he controlling you and controlling everything, he don't think you're gonna step to him. But you say all of this, I'm a new. I'm glad to be with Jesus. My God, yes. Jesus. And I'm on the winning side of Jesus. Yeah. So you can leave. Come on, God. No. Come on. Finish me. Finish me. That's good. 
It's real good food. We oh. all, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, have an enemy. Yes, God. Yes, God. We all have an enemy. We all have. Once was our enemy. Yes, God. But once it's wounded, scarred, damaged, it becomes my enemy. It was my enemy. But once it became scarred, damaged, broken, bitter, it became my enemy because it was no longer working with me. It was fighting against me. It wasn't on my side. It was getting, it was sent to get me on the wrong side. It wasn't helping me. It wasn't encouraging me. It was telling me all the lies about me. And as a result of the, as the, of the lies, it told me I start living according to the lies it told me. Pastor Carter, Come on, God. why does it become an enemy? As a result of being injured, Come on. it will cause us to operate injured. It causes us to operate from a wounded state. My mother left me. My daddy left me. They don't like me. They ain't talking to me. So what it does is seek out who else it can betray. It seek out who else it can wound. It seek out who else it can injure. So what, what is it looking for? A herd. Come on. Come on. That's good. My God. What was it looking for? It said, I know you're going to cast me out, Pastor Carter, but let me get over there to that family. Let me get over there to that family. Let me get over there. Because I still want to stay here because there's some other ones playing. That I wanna... Come on, God. Jesus. Jesus. So the enemy only stay around to uncover me. Come on, God. The enemy only stay around to expose because it's going to let you praise and do all that. But then it's going to come when you get ready to step over with something you like. Then it's going to come when you're growing. Then it's going to come when you're fasting. Then it's going to come when you're reading. And then it's going to come when you're praying. And say, you still winning your calling? You still winning your right? And you start throwing up everything you used to do and what you were before. And then it make you feel like you're not worthy for Come the next on. level. Come on, God. Somebody say enemy. Enemy. Somebody say enemy. Enemy. And until our enemy is healed, we'll never be free because we feed it. And when we begin to feed our inner man, our inner man can overtake our enemy. But our enemy is overtaking our inner man because that's what we feed the most. Looking for someone it can devour. Our enemy control our emotions and our feelings. Today I'm gonna speak to you. Tomorrow I'm not. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. This Sunday I like you. Next Sunday I don't. This Sunday you the best thing that ever happened to me, and I'm uh, and next. Not even next Sunday, but next Wednesday by Wednesday, you said, I wish I never met you. Mm -hmm. You know the man in your life say you're the best thing I ever had, but why you go outside the marriage? Come on, oh. God. I'll never leave you. I'll never cheat on you. But why I found that number in your pocket? Jesus. You know that enemy will tell us things to sedate us that have us believing we're good the way we are, so we'll never change to see them. Paul said, I die daily. What I believe he was saying, Ebony, I die to this flesh because he knew the flesh was no more good. And yeah. what he was saying, I got to die so this enemy can yeah. leave me alone. Yeah. See, when we Come are still high-minded, puffed up, arrogant, cocky, bougie, and bad, it's our enemy that controls us. Yeah. But when you say, I'm going to die to the flesh, meaning the enemy ain't going to dictate to me, the enemy ain't going to control me, the enemy ain't going to tell me when to wake up, when to go to sleep, when to go to the house, who that's so Paul good. said, mm -hmm. I die daily. I believe he was saying he'll die to the sinful nature. 
because all of us are old enough to look back over our lives and see what didn't work. My all of God, us are old yeah. enough to look at the yeah. stuff that caused us the stuff that we got. All of us, if we be honest in here, yeah. we can look Come back on. and see the trouble, the danger, yeah. the, 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 the letdowns, the disappointment, the frustration, to say, I ain't going back there. But if the enemy is yeah. now the hill to become an yeah. inner man, you'll feel defeated. Yeah. If the enemy is now the hill, that you can hear the enemy. And as long as the enemy is not healed, you'll never hear the enemy saying you're already delivered. You're already set free. Well, how am I delivered? And how am I set free when I still did it? Come on. The cross. Come on. Come on. When I remember being reminded of what he did on the cross, I know this addiction can't keep me. I know this situation can't hold me. When I think of what he did on the cross, that's when I get resurrection power. Come on. He didn't stay there. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Jesus. In order to operate in the will of God, so we don't act out on hurt, pain, and disappointment. If we're not careful, we'll find ourselves operating from old wounds and injuries from our past. Some, what somebody did to us, how they treated us, what they said about us, and the list continued. The only way to operate in the will of God is let that inner man die. Inner me die. And that inner man live. How do I let the enemy die when I want to act out? <laughs> when I want to prove my case. When I want to get revenge. When I want to prove to them I know more. When, when I want to show them who I am, I stay humble. I stay quiet. Because in my humbleness, Anjanette, in my quietness, I'm crucified. Yes, God. The enemy, because when I act out the way the enemy yeah. wants me yeah. to act, I give it more power. Yeah. Yeah. And when I give it more power, it overtake my enemy. And tell me the enemy don't know more than what the enemy knows. They can't tell me. They don't know. It might have been easy for her. It ain't easy for me. It's easier said than done. That's justification. Come on. Justification. Yeah. That's excuses. Excuse. You know, some of us will say, why well, couldn't come out tonight? Some of us say, why well, I didn't show up tonight? They are excuses, but when I look back over my life, I need to be in church every time the door's open because there's an enemy that I've been listening to all my life. There's an enemy that I've been following all my life. In order to sustain oh me in the state that I'm in, my enemy must be destroyed. Oh, I'm going back. We tend to operate, close out, we tend to operate out of frustrations. The enemy is wounded, is scarred, is damaged, is angry, is bitter. So everything it does, it don't do from a place of peace. Come on. If it did, if it operated from a place of peace, it would no longer put poison in its body. Yes. If it operated from a place of peace, it would no longer treat you any kind of way. If it operate from a good place, it wouldn't speak to you sometimes and then sometimes Come it don't on, like God. you. When there's an enemy controlling you, you find everything that's wrong right and find everything right wrong. Come on. Jesus. That's why it's imperative for my enemy to be healed or else I'm going to find myself back at the drawing board. I don't care how much I sing, how much I dance, Come how on. much I speak in Come tongues, on. how much I walk in love. Yeah. That be a time that the enemy confront me with something I wouldn't confront. Come on. Jesus. There will be a time that the enemy put something in front of me that I thought I was over. Yeah. The enemy will bring back a friend that I said I forgave and didn't forgive him. The enemy will have somebody in my circle do something the same way the person that hurt me. Wow. And what it does is open that wound all over again and put me back in a defeated position. Jesus. And some of us get halfway and go back only because he did not the scab off my wound. 
The only reason why I go back, leave the church, because they are no longer making me feel comfortable in the sin I was in. I didn't tell nobody I was still struggling. Come I didn't on. tell nobody I still got a habit. I didn't tell nobody I still did it when I left church. So what happened? My enemy told me they can say what they want, but they don't pay my bill. My enemy told me they can say all they want to, but they ain't got to go home. Jesus. To what I go home to. Jesus. An enemy. And until I'm healed, yes, my God. enemy will always take me out of a place Come of my on, victory. God. Yeah, every time. That's true. Come on, God. If God. my enemy God. is never healed, it will take me out of a place of my victory. How can you say that? Everybody who left had an enemy. They accumulated some things. <laughs> they established some things. They were changed and transformed. Come on, God. This was the place of victory. Yeah. But then the enemy said, I want to do what I want to do. They don't tell me I pay my bill. Because rebellion was never healed. Disobedience was never healed. Puffed up in cockiness was never healed. So just because I was in here, it was arrested because it couldn't operate here. Yes. The Lord then. Don't mean it was here. Come on, God. That's good. That's good. Just because I seen them sitting on the front. Just because I seen them on the choir. It was too much power in here for them to manifest. Jesus. It was too much anointing for them to operate. So what they did outside of it, you say, who in the world is that? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Only because you were subject to the anointing yeah. of the house. Yeah. But if the anointing ain't my house, I can't make you something. Come on. My God. Ouch. So just because you was here Come didn't on. mean you was delivered. Yes. You were still battling the enemy because at the time of altar call, you was listening to everybody prophecy instead of being here. At yes. the time of altar call, you were saying what pastor was going to say to them and not get in there and find out what God wanted to say to you. Yes. So you kept your enemy because you was worried about what she was going to say to me. Jesus. Jesus. My God. Jesus. Yes, God. Help. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. And I only said it as in the prophecy that we're all discussing. Come on, God. Come on, God. Only so I can use it against you later, find one fire and tell you that prophecy ain't happened. Telling you that prophecy ain't couldn't have been. But let me tell you on, something, God. baby. A prophecy ain't fulfilled until you're healed. Yay! Come on, that's good. Because an enemy will rob you of prophecy. So God will release prophecy when there's an enemy. So it ain't that pastor missed it and pastor didn't need God. You better be honest with yourself and what you do after the prophecy is given. How you're living after the prophecy is given. That's why the enemy is always present. He come to steal, kill, destroy. So if I never see prophecy come to pass, I'm going to doubt God ever said it. And it's going to put me in a backslidden condition. If I get to a place of doubt when God spoke it, come on. then I'm going to stop praying yeah. and believing. Come on. If I get to a place yeah. of doubt and God said it, then I'm going to stop doing what I was doing before believing he was going to do it. Yes. 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 See, I only give one stuff back. <laughs> Say enemy. Enemy. I only give because I know you're going to open up the window. Say enemy. enemy. I only give because I need my bills paid. I only give I only give because I want my car paid. I only want my I only give because I want my marriage to last. But when do I give because he said bring ten percent and pay the storehouse? Let it be me in my house. But every time I see out my envelope, I'm thinking of what I need him to fix. Come on, somebody try me. Come on, 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 come we don't benefit from prophecy because everything we do, we do with a motivation. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. The enemy will have me doing something just to get something in return. Come on. But not out of a pearl heart. Come on. The enemy will say, have me say what I know they want to hear. Oh but not out of a heart. Mm -hmm. 
The enemy will have me stand in your face yes. and lie to you. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Only because yes. I want to prove myself yes. to you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. But when you're spiritual, yes. you don't get caught up in who it is. You say he don't use anybody to turn me on. So guess what? When that nigga come to my house, she said it's all me. I said, uh oh, uh, because I don't know where you been. She said, deserve me right here, deserve me right here, it's all me. I said, no, the blood of Jesus. But guess what? The enemy will come to anything that's connected to me just come to get me. Come on, God. I'm under surveillance. I'm under investigation. Yeah. So what they gonna try to do is prove my witness to be yeah. foul. So they get somebody who say, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. But the whole time you Come on, God. An enemy will have you betray on your yes. own family. Come on, God. The enemy will have, have you betray your family and turn on those who help you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put your hands together. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Somebody should be praising God. Everybody's saying. Jeez.